Welcome to our channel. In this video we'll discuss 28 foods that help lower blood pressure. Do you have high blood pressure and aren't sure what to eat? This video shares some of the best recommendations. Research has shown that certain foods such as fruits, vegetables, nuts, and oily fish can lower blood pressure. Combining these foods in the diet may lead to long-term health benefits. Medications, dietary changes, and other lifestyle modifications can reduce high blood pressure or hypertension while lowering the likelihood of developing associated conditions. High blood pressure increases a person's risk of heart disease, stroke, and kidney disease. Types of food that may help to lower blood pressure include fruits, such as kiwis and oranges, vegetables, for instance, green leafy vegetables and beets, nuts, for example, pistachios and walnuts, oily fish, such as mackerel, spices, such as cinnamon. In this video, we will discuss foods that can help reduce high blood pressure and provide scientific evidence. Many researchers have found that certain foods can lower high blood pressure. We look at some foods that may help and how to incorporate them into the diet. In general, the United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, considers a serving to be 1 cup of cooked or raw vegetables or fruit, 1 cup of 100% fruit juice, 2 cups of raw leafy salad greens, half a cup of dried fruit for most ages, the USDA recommends consuming around 2 cups of fruit per day and 3 cups of vegetables per day, although this varies slightly according to age and sex. Let's discuss in detail about foods that help lower blood pressure. 1. Berries. Blueberries and strawberries contain antioxidant compounds called anthocyanins, a type of flavonoid. In one older study, the researchers looked at data for over 34,000 people with hypertension over 14 years. Those with the highest intake of anthocyanins mainly from blueberries and strawberries had a lower risk of high blood pressure than those with a low anthocyanin intake. 2. Bananas. Bananas contain potassium, which can help manage hypertension. One medium-sized banana contains around 422 mg of potassium. According to the American Heart Association, potassium reduces the effects of sodium and alleviates tension in the walls of the blood vessels. People with kidney disease should consult a doctor before increasing their intake of potassium, as too much can be harmful. A serving would be one large banana, one cup of sliced banana, or two-thirds of a cup of mashed banana. 3. Beets. Drinking beet juice may reduce blood pressure in the short and long term, because it contains dietary nitrate. A study found that people with hypertension who drank 250 milliliters, or about one cup, of red beet juice every day for four weeks had lower blood pressure. Tips for use include, drinking one glass of beet juice per day, adding beets to salads, preparing beets as a side dish a serving of beet as around one cup, which is around two small beets or one large one. 4. Dark chocolate. Cacao, an ingredient in dark chocolate, contains flavonoids, an antioxidant. Flavonoids may help reduce blood pressure, according to the American Heart Association. However, it notes that a person may not be able to consume enough flavonoids in dark chocolate for it to have significant benefits. The American Heart Association says that a small amount of chocolate from time to time can be part of a balanced diet. It advises, however, that people eat it because they enjoy it, not for health reasons. 5. Kiwis. A daily serving of kiwi can help manage mildly high blood pressure, a study suggests. People who ate three kiwis per day for eight weeks saw a more significant reduction in systolic and diastolic blood pressure than those who ate one apple per day for the same period. The study authors note that this may be due to the bioactive substances in kiwis. Kiwis are easy to add to lunches or smoothies. One cup of kiwi, or two to three kiwi fruits, makes up one serving. 6. Watermelon. Watermelon contains an amino acid called citrulline. The body converts citrulline to arginine, and this helps the body produce nitric oxide, a gas that relaxes blood vessels and encourages flexibility in arteries. These effects aid the flow of blood, which can lower high blood pressure. 
People can consume watermelon, as juice, in salads, including fruit salads, in smoothies, in a chilled watermelon soup one serving of watermelon is one cup of chopped fruit or one slice of around 2 inches. 7. Oats. Oats contain a type of fiber called beta-glucan, which may have benefits for heart health, including blood pressure. Ways of eating oats include having a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast, using rolled oats instead of breadcrumbs to give texture to burger patties, sprinkling them on yogurt desserts. 8. Leafy green vegetables. Leafy green vegetables are rich in nitrates, which help manage blood pressure. Some research suggests that eating at least one cup of green leafy vegetables per day can lower blood pressure and reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Examples of leafy greens include cabbage, collard greens, kale, mustard greens, spinach, Swiss chard. 9. Garlic. Garlic has antibiotic and antifungal properties, many of which may be due to its main active ingredient, allicin. A 2020 review concludes that garlic in general, and specifically chiolic garlic, can reduce blood pressure, arterial stiffness, cholesterol garlic can enhance the flavor of many savory meals, including stir-fries, soups, and omelets. It can also be an alternative to salt as a flavoring. 10. Fermented foods. Fermented foods are rich in probiotics, which are beneficial bacteria that may help manage blood pressure. The effects of probiotics on blood pressure appeared more beneficial when the participants consumed multiple species of probiotic bacteria, probiotics regularly for more than eight weeks, at least 100 billion colony forming units per day fermented foods to add to the diet include kimchi, kombucha, apple cider vinegar, miso, tempeh probiotic supplements are another option. 11. Lentils and other pulses. Lentils provide protein and fiber, and experts say they can benefit the blood vessels of people with hypertension. A review of human trials, with a total of 554 participants, found that consuming pulses may lower blood pressure in people with and without hypertension. However, the authors note that more studies are necessary. People can use lentils in many ways, including, as an alternative to minced beef, adding bulk to salads, as a base for stews and soups. 12. Natural yogurt. Yogurt is fermented dairy food. A study looked at data for people with and without high blood pressure to see whether there was a link between fermented dairy products and hypertension. The participants with high blood pressure who consumed more yogurt had lower systolic blood pressure and lower arterial pressure than those who did not. To enjoy unsweetened yogurt, add one spoonful to a plate of stew or curry, mix with chopped cucumber, mint, and garlic as a side dish. Use it instead of cream on fruit and desserts. Spoon it onto a combination of oatmeal, nuts, and dried fruit for breakfast. 13. Pomegranates. Pomegranates contain antioxidants and other ingredients that may help prevent high blood pressure and atherosclerosis. A study provides evidence that drinking one cup of pomegranate juice daily for 28 days may lower high blood pressure in the short term. A review of eight human trials found evidence that consuming pomegranate juice consistently lowered blood pressure. People can consume pomegranates whole or as juice. When buying prepackaged pomegranate juice, check to ensure that there is no added sugar. 14. Cinnamon. Cinnamon may help reduce blood pressure, according to a review. The authors found that consuming up to 2 grams of cinnamon per day for 8 weeks or more reduced blood pressure in people with a body mass index of 30 or more. To incorporate cinnamon into the diet, a person can add it to oatmeal as an alternative to sugar, sprinkle it on freshly chopped fruit, add it to smoothies. 15. Nuts. Several studies have found that eating nuts of various types can help manage hypertension. A review notes that walnuts, hazelnuts, and pistachios all appear to improve endothelial function, which can benefit blood pressure and heart health. Opt for unsalted nuts and 
snack on them plain, add them to salads, blend them into pestos, use them in main dishes, such as nut roast people should not consume nuts if they have a nut allergy. Sixteen. Citrus fruits. Citrus fruits contain hesperidin, an antioxidant that may benefit heart health. In a study, 159 people consumed 500 milliliters of orange juice, hesperidin-enriched orange juice, or a control drink per day for 12 weeks. The results indicate that regularly consuming orange juice can help lower systolic blood pressure and that hesperidin contributes to this effect. People can consume citrus fruits. As drinks, for example, by making orange juice or squeezing lemon into water, whole or in fruit salads, in the case of oranges and grapefruit, as lemon juice, squeezed on salads for flavor instead of salt. 17. Oily fish. The American Heart Association recommends consuming two servings of three ounces of oily fish per week, as it may lower the risk of cardiovascular disease. Research also suggests that eating oily fish may help lower blood pressure. In a study, people with high systolic blood pressure saw significant improvements in their readings after consuming 0.7 grams per day of supplements of eicosapentaenoic acid and docosahexaenoic acid fish oil for eight weeks. Examples of oily fish are anchovies, sardines, mackerel, albacore tuna some fish contain mercury, and people should check the latest Food and Drug Administration FDA, guidelines. They can also visit this website to check which fish is currently sustainable. 18. Tomato extract. Tomato contains lycopene, an antioxidant that may be beneficial for heart health. A review found that consuming tomato extract can significantly lower systolic blood pressure in people with or without hypertension. However, including tomatoes in the diet did not produce the same results. Other researchers have found that high doses of lycopene reduced systolic blood pressure, while lower levels did not. 19. Avocado. Creamy avocado is a great source of calcium, magnesium, and potassium. One avocado contains about 975 mg of potassium, which is about 25% of your daily intake. Enjoy avocado toast in a salad like this salmon salad with green goddess dressing, or mix it with tuna instead of mayo for a protein-rich sandwich and salad topper. 20. Sweet Potatoes Potassium and magnesium-rich sweet potatoes are an essential part of following a blood pressure-reducing diet. Sweet potatoes are also high in fiber which is good for your heart, too. Bake sweet potatoes in a sheet pan with your choice of lean protein for a quick and easy weeknight dinner. You can also make sweet potatoes the star with this sweet potato with shredded salad. 21. Oatmeal. High-fiber whole grains, especially oatmeal, have been linked to lowering the risk of cardiovascular disease, can help with weight loss, and may help to lower your cholesterol. Studies have shown that just three servings of whole grains a day can decrease your risk of heart disease by 15%. Oatmeal for breakfast is a great way to start your day with whole grains. Add whole wheat bread at lunch and quinoa, barley, or brown rice at dinner. 22. Quinoa. There is a reason quinoa is a super grain. A half cup contains almost 15% of the magnesium you need in a day. Plus, it's rich in plant-based protein and fiber to relieve constipation, stabilize blood sugar levels, and ward off hunger. 23. Peaches and Nectarines. Peaches and nectarines are like fruit cousins that share a lot of similar benefits, one of which is their high potassium content. A large peach or nectarine provides about 10% of a person's daily recommended value. The potassium helps balance water levels in the body and helps us get rid of excess sodium. 24. Broccoli. 
Cruciferous vegetables, like broccoli, are high in all of the four magic compounds that help lower blood pressure, i.e. calcium, potassium, magnesium, and vitamin C studies have shown that diets high in cruciferous vegetables have led to lower levels of heart disease and longevity. Twenty-five. Red bell peppers. Red bell peppers help reduce high blood pressure with the help of potassium and vitamin A. They're also high in fiber and vitamin C, making them a healthy snack with hummus. Twenty-six. Unsalted pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are rich in blood pressure, lowering magnesium and zinc. Pumpkin seed oil is also a good way to get the seeds' benefits. Be warned. Store-bought pumpkin seeds are usually coated in salt, so choose the unsalted varieties or roast your own by baking them in a sheet pan for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. 27. Pistachios. Pistachios have been proven to lower blood pressure by reducing blood vessel tightening and heart rate. Add pistachios to a salad or breakfast cereal, blend it into a delicious rigatoni with pistachio pesto, or bake it onto pistachio-crusted fish and spinach quinoa. Just be sure to buy unsalted when shopping at the supermarket. 28. Olive oil. Olive oil may be high in calories, but it has many health benefits. Using polyphenol-rich olive oil has been linked to lowering blood pressure, especially among women. Make olive oil your go-to oil when cooking and new research says replacing butter with olive oil may reduce your risk of disease and death. 29.Foods to avoid. While some foods may relieve hypertension, others can increase the risk of the condition. Salt. Studies show that a modest decrease in salt intake over four or more weeks can significantly reduce blood pressure. The USDA recommends limiting sodium intake to a maximum of 2.3 grams per day, or 1 teaspoon, 5.75 grams, of salt. Caffeine. Results of a study suggest that consuming 200 to 300 milligrams of caffeine may increase blood pressure by 8.1 millimeters Hg and diastolic blood pressure by 5.7 millimeters Hg within one hour of consumption. The rise in blood pressure lasted for longer than three hours. Alcohol. Regular consumption of alcohol can significantly increase the risk of high blood pressure. In females, even moderate consumption can have this impact. Processed foods. Processed foods often contain added salt and harmful fats. A study found that people with a high consumption of processed foods were more likely to have high blood pressure. 30. What else can I do to lower my blood pressure? As well as dietary measures, the American Heart Association recommends the following tips for lowering blood pressure, exercise regularly. Learn some strategies for managing stress. Avoid or quit smoking. Reach or maintain a moderate body weight. Work together with a doctor, including taking any medications they recommend. Frequently asked questions. Here are some questions people often ask about lowering blood pressure. How can I lower my blood pressure immediately? There is no way to lower blood pressure quickly at home. A person should follow a plan of diet, exercise, and possibly medication to lower their blood pressure over time. Can drinking water lower blood pressure? Some evidence suggests drinking more water each day may lower blood pressure, but more research is needed. When should I contact a doctor about high blood pressure? Optimal blood pressure is up to 120 80ths of a millimeter Hg. If several readings show levels are higher than this, a person may wish to seek guidance from a doctor. Summary. Dietary and lifestyle choices can help manage high blood pressure. A diet that focuses on fruits, vegetables, oats, nuts, lentils, herbs, and spices can be beneficial. In contrast, salt, alcohol, and processed foods may worsen hypertension. A doctor can help a person make a plan that involves exercise, food choices, and other measures to manage high blood pressure and reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and other health issues.
Disclaimer. The information included in this video is for educational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for medical advice or treatment by a healthcare professional. Because of unique individual needs, the listener should consult their physician to determine the appropriateness of the information for the situation. Thanks for visiting our channel. You can like, subscribe, comment and share if you found our videos informative and beneficial. Press the bell icon to get timely notifications of our uploaded videos. You can buy food and kitchen related products from our online store. The link is given in the description. Thanks once again.